Culture is culture is power, history is knowledge. Chicano Ideas YouTube channel where I like to share my thoughts and ideas about history, learning history, seeing what y'all know about it, sharing it. But this is the six people that I listen to from Southern California. Being from Northern California, who do I listen to? Who do I think, in my opinion, are the best? Coming from San Diego and Los Angeles, Southern SoCal, uh, pretty much. I don't think it's Swifty Blue. I don't think it's Lefty Gunplay or Rowdy Racks. These are the top six for me. I guess if you want to put those other three cats that I just mentioned as seven, eight, nine. But to me, I don't listen to those three guys. These are the guys who I think, you know, got lyricals, bars, and they're really, uh, you know, exceeding expectations on when it comes to being a Chicano that flows, that it's a part of hip hop that raps and the coyote is, you know, you got to give it to them. I heard them. I like the way they flow, the way they rap, you know, they're lyrical. They got great creativity and storytelling. CNG, he's great with and telling his stories, rhyming about the hood. And, you know, you could hear he's not just a typical, you know, ABC rapper. None of these cats to me are typical. Like Desi Hollow, I love how he puts 90s music, changes up the tone and the beat and puts his own flavor to it. And it got that old school 90s throwback feel. What? I really enjoy listening to his music, slapping it. You know, Young Gritty, to me, he's... I don't hear much about Young Gritty, maybe because he's not a homie. These two Young Gritty's also from San Diego, I think, like Desi Hollow. And Young Gritty, he's one of my favorites. He, had, I love his storytelling when I first heard him. He got some bars, he's lyrical. Misfit Soto, too. He's a great rapper from the hood. He's just not an ABC rapper. None of these cats. Like, Drummer Boy is probably, to me, the least lyrical of everybody here. But when I heard his hood raps and his gangster raps, I liked it. It wasn't typical Chicano rap style. He did. And, you know, none of these cats say nigga this, nigga that, and their raps, nigga, nigga that. But unfortunately, I do miss the Spanish and the Chicano slang and the Chicano lingo. You know, most Chicanos don't try to put Spanish in their raps now because they want the brothers or the whites or others to listen to their flows. But, you know, we do got a whole origin of people from Mexico that, you know, if you speak Spanish in your raps, they may like it. You know, Mexican rappers are becoming more popular and Chicanos can maybe, you know, hey, look, our people may want to relate to us if you're, you know, speaking Spanish in your raps. And, you know, if we cater to the people who understand, you know, us a little bit, maybe they may hop on Chicano rap if we, if, you know, it's the Spanish is spoken right, the story is spoken right. Because, you know, Mexicans straight from Mexico will not probably also relate to the Chicano slang. But, you know, I, I, I kind of miss that. You know, not it don't got to be like straight S in this. But, you know, speaking some Spanish in the rap, I like that. I, I like the Chicano lingo and slang. But this is who I listen to being from Northern California. My six guys that I think that are the top coming from SoCal that I've been listening to for the past handful of years. So tell me what you think of my six guys that I like to listen to and me, in my opinion, thinking they're the best coming from SoCal, being Chicanos, and that's it. I mean, these guys, they're really, they're really doing it. They're really, uh, Got some nice flows, got some nice raps. Unfortunately, who do you think is the most popularist? Maybe the Coyotes. I think they really blown up out of everybody on this list. You know, unfortunately to meet Young Gritty, uh, would it be more popular? 
but he's not getting the Desi Hollow. All these cats, what do you think about this list? But this is who I listen to. I don't listen to Lefty Gunplay. I don't listen to Swifty Blue or Roddy Rex. It's not it's too much the style that uh, I'm interested. It's not, to me, they're okay. But this is the top six for me. Peace out. Culture is power. History is knowledge. Leave your thoughts and comments on who do you like to listen to, especially if you're not from Southern California. You know, who do you think's the best from SoCal? And being from SoCal, this is my list of, you know, what do you think? Peace out.